Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- <sighs> I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness, we can build something new. <sighs> Never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, we've seen me dead. We'll make things right. I won't stop you. <laughs> I know. Why? Why do you even care? You, you could have walked away. 
The cycle ends here. It must be better than this. <laughs> imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. I'm sorry, Freya. I was just trying to protect well, you. Guess we are the bad guys now. And my son. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. Because I think after he'd killed her, he would have she come after us. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Why do I think that's going to be part of one lies, of the sequels? She'll come around. That Atreus is going to have to kill temple, Kratos. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. For some reason. Why do I feel like that's sort of foreshadowing? Why did Baldur say we cost? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring us cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful. But its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. 
the one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hope to spare him pain and spare herself loss. Such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. I should put a spell on him. That nothing could harm him. But she forgot to ask the mistletoe to because be in she thought it was too young. Lad, there comes a time in every man's life when he changes his name and heads north to make a new start. If you live long enough to do this many times over, you might end up as far north as this place. By the time I arrived, I already knew Odin by his reputation, and so I set to demonstrate my worth by coming to him with something I knew he'd value. A mystic well of knowledge. Or rather, I should say, a well of water laced with enough mystic mushrooms to make a god see visions. Oh, he was rightly impressed. Can't say for sure what he saw that led him to try gouging out his own eyes, but I managed to restrain him before he finished the job. Ooh. Then I persuaded him it has been his sacrifice made for an even higher form of sight to be bestowed. Blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. <laughs> I used to think he never caught on. But the day he took my eye, I realized he had never been fooled. He knew I'd outwitted him, called the lesson wisdom, and hired me to make sure from then on I was on his side. And for a long, long time I truly was. Doesn't mean he didn't hold a grudge. Back to the travel room now, I think. You two going in or what? Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Well, we'll find out if it works. Boy, ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Gone. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh. I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. 
do hurry back, please. <laughs> this. It's all gold and shiny. It's beautiful. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Play Mavi's moment, Atreus. Boy. Time to let go of the past, Kratos. Hey, I recognise this place. You know when he was in the light and he was having that vision and he called out to Faye and reached his hand just before Atreus grabbed him and pulled him back out again? This is the bridge that Kratos saw in like his vision. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Yeah, what happened to that? Why isn't he hearing them anymore? Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Over here. Wait a minute, what's up here? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Huh? Who's the guardian? Maybe up those stairs is where we're supposed to go.
looks abandoned. Whoa! Wait! Father! Something's happening! Why did that happen when Atreus touched the wall? It's your axe. It's smaller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? It's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. She was a giant? I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. It's under that sheet. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. What's under the sheet? Yes. There's more. Yes, we are. What is that? What was that? Wait, what was that? What was that? Wait, his mother was a giant? Okay. Look, it's mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us, leading us home. Let's finish it. These nice flowers. It makes sense why she would want us to take her back there. She'd want to be taken home. Father. No. We do it together. Son.
giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? 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 That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? Atreus is Loki? A question for another day. Let us go home. Oh shit! The God of Mischief? Exactly. But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. I think we should just go home. We don't really have anything to bother us anymore. I like that this is the credits. I'm sort of playing through the credits. This is quite cool. Never seen this before in a game. Where you play through so the credits. Why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. <laughs> you missed it. if you want to go home but maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here too i mean what would atreus of sparta do and what would loki do huh that's a weird name i'm glad we went with yours yeah maybe because he's called atreus his path could be different to what loki's is in in the Norse mythology. Lads, am I glad to see you. Why are you on the floor? The limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? <laughs> We can take you home with us. Continue exploring. Valkyries revealed. 
I think we should. It said something about going home, so let's let's go home. Oh, I, I can just I, I keep doing that. I keep forgetting that Midgard is triangle. Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? Snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. So maybe the second one will have Ragnarok in it? I'm telling you, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my scroll. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. Yeah, we, we heard. So if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. No, we're heading home. After something's finished, that's where you usually go. You go home. So, oh. Yeah, it is snowing, isn't it? Hmm. So how do we get home then? Can we fast travel home? Or do we have to run there the manual way? Can we fast travel home? Where is home? Because <laughs> I can't remember. No, that's, that's the witch's cave. Here. the unity stone didn't it? I wanted to fly again yes that's a terrible pity okay tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did Odin is extremely clever you see nearly as clever as he thinks he is and he's a collector of prophecies if it's about the future he adds it to his collection helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing but of course the idea is control control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. I always like to listen to Mimir's tales. I hope they bring him back in the sequel, if they do one. Which they will, I know they will. So I hope they bring him back again, because I like Mimir. We're finally home! Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit no. drafty, maybe. But it's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. <laughs> so 
So this this snow is in for good now, is it? And then we have Ragnarok. Well, that should be fun. <laughs> Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Yep, let's definitely go home and sleep, apparently. Oh. I'm pressing circle, there we go. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. gonna be insane it's Thor and I don't think this Thor is as friendly as the one in the movies <laughs> this Thor looks a bit like an arsehole but I don't really know that much about Norse mythology so I wouldn't know but that was God of War and it was my first God of War game ever and I loved it. It was absolutely incredible. So well done to Cory Balog. Is that how you say his name? Cory Balog? Cory Balog. Well done to Cory Balog. Well done to Sony Santa Monica Studios. I applaud you guys very thoroughly. Absolutely incredible. Loved every second of it. Hurry up with the sequel, that's all I could say. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. 